Place to threaten the Falcons today. We have some tantalising matchups. Now the Sharks looking to try to drive home a little bit of an advantage, having hit some form recently. Led out by John O'Ross. They've won five of the last seven in the Premiership, including that thumping win over Leicester last time out. Had some fun after that, a three-day skiing trip followed by the Cheltenham races, and then back to business, Tom May. How important is it, that downtime, do you think, in a season that's so gruelling, so long? I think it's really important. We were never really afforded the luxury of going skiing mid-season, but I think it can certainly do your mental state a lot of good to get away from the game. It's so intense week on week. Um, and for someone in, in Sale Sharks' boots, I think, I think it's great to have the ability to go away, refresh your mind, and get back to what is going to be a really intense end of season. Steve Diamond has been revving them up this week. They've not got a good record in Newcastle. Just four wins from 20 here in the northeast. So a little bit of history to address. And here come Newcastle without Will Welsh. So led today by Mark Wilson, a man who's made such an indelible impression on international rugby in the last few months. He's no longer Newcastle's well-kept secret, the genie. Well out of the bottle now, and rarely have the Falcons needed leaders so badly. If the great escape is to happen, experienced men like Wilson, like Flood, like Donovan, they will all need to be absolutely at the forefront of the tunnelling effort. Seven points adrift at the bottom after Worcester's win at Ashton Gate today. But they've won the last couple. Newcastle, they feel it's on. Tom, and today, perhaps, the venue will inspire them. Steeped in sporting history and tradition, of course, this stadium representing the beating heart of the city, really. Yeah, huge moment for some of these guys. A lot of guys within the squad have grown up in and around the area. Certainly some of the management squad as well. Huge, iconic stadium the world over. To get the opportunity to play in such a place, it will mean a hell of a lot to these players, and what a great occasion for them to be really fighting for their survival in this Premiership. Referee today, Craig Maxwell Keys. And he will be um, well aware, of course, that these games tend to be very, very tight. Before October's meeting at the AJ Bell, the previous 13 decided by eight points or fewer. The shirts, by the way, a tribute to Doddy Weir, the famous tartan on the arms. There's Doddy, great to see him here this afternoon. Ladies and and from every shirt sold, a donation will be made to the Doddy Weir Foundation to help raise funds and awareness for motor neurone disease. All the fantastic work that Doddy Weir is doing to make sure that research has as many funds as it could possibly manage to try to find a cure for it. If you want to find out more about that, you can go to the BT Sport Rugby Twitter feed. And we are underway. Gathered in by Gary Wilson in there looking to spoil or at least slow things up, but still the Sharks come forwards. John O'Ross and the Clark. Oh, look at that magical bit of work. Curry and in they go through Solomona. Fabulous score for the Sharks. Solomona left it late. Hardy came clattering in on him. Looked at in the background anyway. Why we have a try? Everything's looked at in the background anyway. What about that offload from De Klerk? Sure, all they're asking about is he's over the dead ball. Yeah. So Discussion on, fine, like, from Newcastle's point of view, but, okay. a, but a great break from De Klerk. He's, he's obviously someone that Newcastle have to watch. But that bust there, really crucial to that try. It's an area that Newcastle have to look at because Toby Flood falls off a lot of tackles. It'll be something that Sale are very, very aware of. Oh, he pushed his luck there, didn't he? Deli son on that. Really important. So time's off. I'll get it fixed and come back to you. Get as close as you can to the post with this sail kicking performance. Well, he got it's the ball fun. down safe enough. And he has enhanced his reputation almost week by week, Danny Solomon, with his strike in, rate. Ten now in the Premiership this season. Looks good. 
from Faf de Klerk. And the Sharks move into a 10-point lead. Yeah, it's a good It's taken a little longer than they would like. Certainly longer than the Falcons faithful inside St James's Park would have liked, but they have opened that at this point, apart from anything else. Both for those on the field and for those around St James's Park. They need to get some sort of foothold in this contest. Dave Alder watching on alongside Dean Richards. No doubt nervous at this point. Takalua delivers, back within four points. Might not have had the run of the game so far, the Newcastle Falcons, but they are. have a real sniff here, right at the start of this second half. Just what they would have been hoping for in the dressing rooms, Tom. Yeah, I think we're a key area that, that, that Sale have really had a bit of dominance is in, or, in and around that breakdown and having one of the Curry brothers off the field will certainly allow them to try and speed the ball up at the breakdown that we mentioned just before the second half kicked off. Well, that's good initial shunt, Monopola. Whipped away by Takalua, Flood's having a crack himself, Toby Floods, he's got it down! Again, Craig Maxwell Keys wants to check it, it looked as if he grounded it. Question all important. What does he ask? Sean? Yeah. Is there any reason I can't award a try, please? Any reason you can't award a try? Any right, stand by. Okay. Yeah, so... Th this is this is looking promising from a Falcons and a Flood perspective. I think there's an arm underneath it. Just watch this. Just this arm now. There's oh, the there. point of the ball, just the yeah. point of the ball. Sam James does remarkably well, but I'm pretty sure yeah, that that's is grounded. Craig? Yeah, go, Sean. Yeah, you may award the try. Thank you. Tom on. A lifeline for Newcastle. Toby Flood delivers. And the Falcons hit the front. Big, big turnaround. Exactly the start that Dean Richards and Dave Walder would have wanted in this second half. They managed the game well in that first half, even though they were physically dominated by Sale. And now to come out in the early stages of this second half and get themselves over the try line and onto the scoreboard, massive moment for them. Takalua adds two more, and suddenly there is hope in Newcastle hearts. Good step inside from Floody, and then look at the strength just to drag those three defenders over. And it's millimetres, isn't it? But you just need something of a grounding. Supported well, to be fair, by Sinotti and Hardy. Plenty of distance. They're on the way. Makes it so much harder for a defender to get a spot spot tackle on him. Every care being taken by Takalua. Well, the Falcons now have a nine-point buffer. Tra Fingernails being bitten all around St James's Park. Sam James drifting to the short side, so too McGuigan. Flood races across to try to cover the threat. Play the ball, Faf. And De Klerk is asked to play it. James. Oh, and in they go! Baron McGuigan in the corner. 
Hawkins looked to have it covered. McGuigan celebrating a score. I reckon McGuigan's got that. Okay. Sean? Yeah. Any reason to the TMR? Any reason to Just double check touch and also grounding, mate, because I'm going on the grounding. Okay, touching grounding, okay. Yeah, the grounding's fine. And I'm pretty sure he stays in field. Yeah, feet in the air, jumps to make sure. Yeah, Donovan does his best, doesn't he, to get that ball carrying arm swatted. It's a great finish from McGuigan. Yeah, you can uh, award the try. Great. great bit of work from Byron McGuigan. It looked as if Newcastle were going to have that short side covered, but Donovan got sucked in for a split second and the Sharks struck. Seven points the difference. Tough conversion this for Faf de Klerk. Every second counting too. He squeezed it over. Good. On the, try, on the try, it's a great kick, but it's Faf de Klerk's long passing game, which tempts Nicky Gonover to step in off his wing. Just watch Gonover there, they're numbered up. He doesn't need to go in. For that long pass, he thinks I can get man and ball, steps in to assist and creates enough of a space on the outside. Smuggled away by Sam James, and now less than three minutes for the... But he's pacing now, he's prowling. Falcons just need one run oh, secure. Let's go 10 metres, please. Keep going, keep going. Keep it going. looks like six Thank seconds you. need to elapse. OK, you ready? Time on. Takalua feeds Kyle Cooper. Takes the contact, rolls into position. Tell me when, the David. clock is dead. And yes. Newcastle, through Takalua, secure the win. great escape might just be on three wins in a row the tunneling well on the way Newcastle 22 points to 17 winners at St James's Park are oh, just brilliant from the Falcons because Sale came here and they shot them early on they took the game to the Falcons and they really were making inroads but they showed their patience they got back into the game they took points when points were on offer and they really deserve that victory and what it means to this huge crowd here at St James's Park and as you said could we have a more exciting end to the season I think the other thing to say is that key players put their hands up for Newcastle when it really mattered. Those big name players, Sinotti, Sinotti had an outstanding game. I thought the way Josh Matavesi managed that midfield, he put the ball down in the right areas of the field at good key times. I thought John Hardy was a pest. I think Andrew Davidson, the work he got through for a, a big gangly fella was outstanding. Let's not forget, Sale had the run of things in that opening 40. They led by 10 points to nil, and they were bossing operations at that.